Vivo was a video compression codec similar to like MP4 or MPEG or MP3 for you know you music people or whatever. Vivo was just another codec and uh, it enabled you to play video about the size of a YouTube thumbnail modern day on a dial-up connection 28k 56k back in the 90s 20 years ago so you could play videos like in the little stamp size box and you could hit a button to full screen them but at least you didn't have to download a video imagine downloading uh, it would take like 30 minutes to download a 30 second video clip avi or mpeg back in the 90s on dial up right whereas on my site you could go to the site click a video and it'll start playing right away just like modern day youtube without any buffering loading or whatever so i was one of the first people to actually have fast loading video on the internet and this was before youtube was even a company before google was a company this is like 1997 98 literally so my best years actually for the porn internet whatever was actually from like 97 to about 2000 i peaked at 2003 and crashed then but from like 97 to 2001 or two it was very very good and very lucrative and i made a lot of moves back then or whatever you know so um yeah that's really where i got the bulk of my bread a long time ago with that site but you know money doesn't last forever or whatever so fast forwarding a few years into the future or whatever um i see i'm at the 14 minute mark shit i, got, I guess it's two video clips now i gotta do a part two. Oh well so anyway, fast forwarding to like 2008 or 9, you know, my marriage fails. I'm in Canada where I am now back again. And uh, I decide to buy a camera and start shooting content and getting in front of the camera. And, you know, I'm just doing a totally different business model. You, I can't do the same business model I used to do before. And now you need exclusive content. The, the Internet's expanded. There's a lot of competition. You got to have something unique, something some pizzazz <laughs> to give to people so um yeah I, I, I actually really wanted to get into glamour photography if that makes any sense um the only um, uh like glamour type of porn site i actually liked at the time was called ftv girls first time video girls and nubiles nubiles.net i think actually so i contacted the people of this program and i tell them you know, I'm going to send you some samples of some girls here from Canada at the particular time. And I sent them some, like, softcore girly type pictures for samples or whatever. I basically wanted to become a content producer that just photographer guy with the big camera that films models. Okay? But, you know, what can I say? It didn't, it didn't work out that way. You know, it didn't work out that way. So... A lot of the models I submitted, the uh, companies were like, don't you have any prettier girls? Uh, this one's unacceptable, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm just like, wow. I mean, is it because they're not white? This, they were, they happened to be native from Canada at the time. <laughs> and they were like, no, you can't, we can't accept these girls, whatever, whatever. So I was like, well, why don't, since I'm already here, why don't I just make my own website, call it Indian Girls, and film it here and feature Native American Indian girls. And that's how that project was born, basically. And that's how it basically it devolved or evolved from become, from becoming a softcore girly picture type of site into a more hardcore, you know, pornography, whatever, what just hardcore porn category, you know, people fucking, yeah, me, etc. So it's like that is what it is. But I realized as far as market demand goes, people would much rather see or they're willing to pay to see my hardcore movies versus softcore model type of pictures i suppose give people what they want basically so that's where a lot of the stuff was born from um a lot of the pictures behind me there i tried to segregate them like basically by country like this is mostly miami vegas other side spanish countries dominican republic colombia thailand philippines all that other stuff europe africa all that's on that other wall over there <laughs> But yeah, just try. I just basically travel around and I try to film uh, girls basically that are unique. I, I really want to make sure that no two girls really look alike. I want every girl to be unique and, if possible, from a different country, a different look, different whatever. You won't find too many uh, carbon copy type of girls on any of my stuff, actually. So yeah, is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I got started, man. Um, like I said, I'm a computer nerd. I got started uh, 
it's just video games, bootlegging software. Now I'm making websites for people. Now I'm making my own website. Some time passes. Um, interesting photos on the wall here. Now, when, when the porn business, basically my, my first sites or whatever, failed, like 2003. From 2003 through 2008, those were the years I basically lived in Canada here before. Previously, those were some uh, very not easy, dark years of my life because, you know, I gained a lot of weight. Uh, I'm in a bad, unhappy marriage at the particular time. I ain't got no money. The business has failed. I'm in a country where I can't currently, at least back then, legally work and legally go to school. I'm doing all kind of crazy shit here at the particular time. I'm, I'm crossing the border to go work in Minnesota every day at, a, at an Indian casino. I'm doing sites. I'm selling shit on eBay. I'm selling satellite TV machines. I'm a truck driver. I'm delivering newspapers. I got all kinds of crazy, crazy 100 jobs, right? And it was a really not easy part of my life, man, for real. That's what a lot of the pictures on the wall here, they're the illustrator or whatever. But yeah, I've done a lot of manual labor, a lot of shit jobs, and a lot of shit that I'm not really cut out for. But I'll do what I gotta do to survive. I, I don't have any ego or pride about it, but as far as what I'd rather do, you know, I'd rather just go running and shoot some porno movies and call it a day and get a massage and smoke some weed. That's what makes me feel good. So, um... I'm not really suited for office work or manual labor or for what most people consider work and shit like that anyway. I, I kind of have painted myself into a corner, yet I know what I like and I know what feels good. And that's just pretty much what I do. So I hope that answers you guys' questions. It's a very, it's a very broad question to ask me, like, uh, how did you get started in this and how can I do this? I think people are really digging to find out, like, well, how can I get involved in the business, too? Like, one of the most common questions I get or common emails is, hey, Shimmy, Shimmy Cash, whatever. Uh, how can I fuck chicks? Can I be in your movie? Can I do this? And eh. I, the answer is I don't know, but um, the simple answer to your question, if you want to be a porn star, go out and buy yourself a camera and hire some models and get a laptop and learn to edit and upload and sell and market and maybe, just maybe, you might get some of your money back if you're lucky, if you're just now starting out. Expect to lose a lot of money and make a lot of mistakes and uh it's a bit of a steep learning curve and there's a lot of competition i mean a lot of people um they they overestimate their position or worth in the world and especially when it comes to you you know porn sites you're selling movies to people all over the world not just an american audience um people from shit i mean u.s and canada is a, is a good portion of my sales but i make my movies for an international audience some of them are bilingual in spanish i do english and spanish at the same time um i realize that you i i try to make movies for everybody this isn't like a uh a localized demographic type of thing. I'm not just doing this like just for black people or white people or even English speaking people for that matter. Um, I want people from all over the world to continue buying my movies and sending me money and making purchases and shit. So I got an international audience and I have sites that are very niche oriented that other people can't copy or replicate basically because they're not me. <laughs> or they're not black Ethiopian or whatever, or they're not in my part of the world and they haven't, I beat them to the punch, basically. So that's pretty much how I operate, I guess. Yeah, I identify a niche that no one else is doing that I think I can do well and tackle it, take it. <laughs> that's pretty much it, yeah. So that's, that's my method of, of internet warfare or whatever, how I manage to stay afloat or whatever. I do what other people aren't doing. I don't make any enemies. I don't have any uh, very little competition in many of the niches that I choose for that reason. And like I say, a lot of times, a lot of the same girls in a lot of these movies, they'll do movies with other people and they don't, they don't blow up. They don't get hardly no traffic or traction. Why? Because I'm not in it. You need shimmy cash to get the cash, remember. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much all I got to say. Um, you guys, I'll do more talking about the pictures and stuff later, but that's pretty much answering most of your questions. How did I get started, at least, in the adult video industry? Yeah. Um, 
Side things I might have left out. Um, there's a very popular model. Um, I think she's Vegas based now. Uh, Francine D. Joanna D. She was actually. Uh, I would have to think that she made a very good impact on my site. I have to give a shout out to her. Thank you, Francine D, for all the content you've produced, all your great shit and whatever. <laughs> very good. She was the cover girl for uh, Vivo Triple X back in the 90s for about three or four years straight. She made me a lot, a lot of sales. She's a uh, Filipina, Hong Kong uh, model. Uh, very popular, actually, in the car world, in the import car world. Um, she was at a lot of the racetracks and car events in California when I was uh, doing racing or whatever back then in the Bay Area or whatever. So, yeah. Um, you also might recognize her as the stripper, the Asian stripper girl in the Soul Plane movie. Yeah, that's her. So she had, a, I mean, she, the the models you pick and choose and the girls, whatever, they have a huge impact on the success of your site, basically. You know, uh, like they say, a pimp is only as good as his product and his product is women. So you got to get the best ones you can get. Best ones you could find, I guess you should say or whatever. But uh, definitely look for making something unique. If you're looking to uh, film your own content or do your own thing make sure someone else isn't already doing it and if they are make sure you could do it better than them and whatever and just you don't really know until you test out a lot of ideas um there's a good way to giving you guys a real big insider secret here use google keywords and spy on the demand for certain niches of what you may want to sell to people before you go out and actually hire models film it and spend a lot of money make sure there is enough people at least searching for it so that you know your idea takes flight if there is not that many people looking for whatever you're filming or producing you know you have a narrow very narrow band of people that you can reach so your reach is important it's important to be original but it's also really important to uh, be conscious of what other people are requesting or demanding I mean it's like uh, first rule of mass media is give the people what they want if you want to be successful you know what I'm saying so that's crucial but the other flip side of that coin is also do something that you enjoy so it's something that you can authentically do and just be yourself with which is really what my shit is whatever I'm just being myself in most of these movies or whatever even if I am a fucking character in a lot of them I'm still me and I'm you know I'm, I'm in charge of the shit so it is what it is and I feel good about everything that I do so with that said i'm gonna go do some more pull-ups thank you for watching this is the shimmy show if my info has helped you go ahead and buy my movies i want your money honey otherwise give me a thumbs up please share this if it helped you and uh pretty much that's it have a good day best of luck to you folks if you're trying to do what i'm doing and uh whatever if you need my advice coaching counseling or some shit like that i'll be happy to sell my time to you but my time ain't free i will only answer very basic